Welcome to the American Dream, a show that started right here in San Diego, America's finest city, that now spans positive media all across the country, real stories in real neighborhoods. Hi, I'm your host, Craig Sewing, and here's the American Dream. Welcome to the American Dream, a real show, not a reality show. The real estate, the lifestyle, the culture. It's not just about what you're living in, but the community you're going to live in. High rise, luxury living. People are the vehicle. People are the connection. People are the expansion. It's the American Dream. Hello and welcome to the American Dream TV. I am your host, Colette Diamond, and today we are going on an extraordinary journey. According to legend, it is believed that right behind me, you see him, he's up there at the sleeping dragon of the Dragon Ridge Vortex. It is so exciting. So vortexes are where there's magnetic grid lines inside the earth. And when these lines connect, there's an incredible vortexes of energy and power and healing, which is believed to why Las Vegas is what it is. So please join me as we embark on this exciting journey of this local phenomenon. I am now in the magical place of Red Rock Conservation Area. It's incredible geological wonders of the Las Vegas Valley. With about 196,000 acres, it has rock climbing, biking, hiking, horseback riding, and even more magical energy. Can you feel it? Can you hear it? Ah. Here we are, my friends, at the third point of this incredible vortex. I am now in the Valley of Fire State Park with 40,000 acres of this red Aztec sandstone and limestone. And trust me, in the evening, it glows like embers in the sunlight. So behind me, you will see there are three cabins. I was just in it. Each one has its own fireplace. And they were built in the 1930s for the weary travelers that tried to navigate this landscape. After this incredible journey, I am feeling hungry. Please join me as we go to one of my favorite restaurants called Jing. And it has fire and water and incredible food and drinks. And I can't wait for you to join me. Welcome to the magnificent Jing. I am so excited to introduce you to the man who creates all the magic, Chef Thomas. Hi, welcome in. Hi, Chef Good Thomas. Thank you here. for having us. We're Absolutely. so excited. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. Why don't, uh, why don't we go in and see where the magic happens, huh? Here we go. All right, come on in. So we promised you fire and water. So ta-da, I give you fire. <laughs> And Chef are. Thomas, please tell us why Las Vegas? No, absolutely. Why, why Vegas? Vegas is the uh, entertainment capital of the world, yep. right? We have some of the best restaurants, some of the greatest places to, uh, to celebrate. And I think, you know, that's really our vision with Jing is like creating that uh, great vibe to be able to showcase what we do um, on a nightly basis here. Uh, is, is, is why Las Vegas, that's, that's why we're here. So we had fire, now we have water, and you can feel it vibe, it feels wonderful. And I have a question for you, Chef Thomas, while we're by the water. What is the future for you and Jing? All right, so the future of, of um, Jing is, you know, we're gonna continue to expand in the Southwest. Um, I think the, 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 the big picture is we wanna be in every metropolitan city uh, in, in the United States. And, and who knows? I mean, there, there's exploration into uh, to other markets outside. And so now, are we going into the kitchen? Yeah. And so see the magic? Yeah, we're gonna go, go back and see where the real magic happens. Can you tell us like what, what is this? Yeah, it looks incredible. Yeah, so you saw those are the tomahawks that we uh, we just big got. Boy. So, the big boys. That's those, the big boys. These are the 50 ounces. These are the the uh, yeah, I'm, I'm coming to party and, and I'm coming in <laughs> hot, you know? This is that the Australian Wagyu um, from Queensland. The dry uh, product that we have, these are our New York strip points. Ooh. Um, this is the A5, as you can see, kind of the, 
the Rolls Royce of beef, and then again, that, those, those ribeyes that are hand cut in house. And that is a wrap on this incredible journey of the Dragon Ridge Vortex. We have seen incredible landscapes and experienced the wonders that Las Vegas has to offer. Stay curious, keep exploring, and from your real estate dream, make it a diamond day. Welcome to the American Dream. I'm your host, Kirsten Marcos, real estate and lifestyle expert in Las Vegas. Typically, people don't think of waterfront property when they think of Las Vegas, but you would be surprised. Today, we're gonna to take you to a gorgeous oasis in the middle of the desert, just east of Summerlin. The Lakes is a two square mile master plan community just east of Summerlin. The private man-made 30 acre lake called Lake Sahara is accessible to waterfront property owners and their guests only via private docks and boats. We're here at North Shore Estates, an intimate luxury community in the lakes which has only six waterfront custom homes. Let's go on a tour of one of these spectacular homes with my friend Allison, and also go on a boat tour. Allison, you have such a rare, beautiful home. Would you show us around? Absolutely, let's go. I really love this custom bar here in your home as well. Oh, thank you. This bar top actually is made out of broken beer bottles. Oh, that's great. One of many things to love about this home. Yes, I've actually raised my kids here for the past 15 years, as you know. It's been a fabulous place to raise them, close to lots of the um, private schools in the area, as well as close to shopping, close to the Strip. And because we're close to the Strip, we're also close to the Raiders and to our winning Knights. Go Knights. Go Knights. Wow, the lake is such a beautiful shade of blue. Definitely one of my favorite reasons for living here at the lake. Um, boating is a big activity, lots of kayaking and stand-up paddle boarding as well. The lake is stocked with fish, so there's fishing, very fun. Awesome, looks like you have a great view of Red Rock as well. We do, we do. In fact, another fun activity is 4th of July. A lot of the boats will go into the middle of the lake and we can see fireworks all around the valley. One of my favorite things to do is to head on over in the morning and grab a cup of coffee at Baby Bird's Cafe and then just come out and enjoy the weather or send the kids over to pick up pizza from those guys' pies. That sounds awesome. The homes that were built in the late 80s and early 90s here with older stucco and tile styles are being changed with custom home builders like Blue Heron, who are creating sleek, modern residences with rooftop decks for the best views of Red Rock Canyon. I'm Kirsten Marcos for American Dream TV. We'll see you next time. Welcome to another episode of the American Dream, Listing Las Vegas. We're your hosts, Amanda. And Larry Romero. Today we're gonna to be taking a closer look at one of my favorite parts of the real estate industry, staging. 
Staging is such an uh, important aspect of listing your home. It can take a home from good to incredible. Today, we are lucky enough to be talking to one of my favorite people, mastermind behind it all, and owner of top real estate staging company in town, the House of Vegas. Let's go meet him. We're inside one of our newest listings in the highly sought after guard gated community of reverence that Hans personally staged. Now Hans, before we start looking around, would you mind telling our viewers what led you to start your staging company in the first place? I had an interesting experience years ago while working as a realtor myself. I had a very difficult floor plan that I was showing up open houses with and everybody loved the house but couldn't get over the shape of the primary bedroom. So. What I did to uh, alleviate the problem was I staged only the bedroom. I left everything else the way it was. Now, when everybody came to see the house after it was staged, the, uh, the, the main feedback that I got was the house was perfect. So about two days later, we received an offer that the seller accepted, and it really displayed the power of staging for me. I try to keep things very consistent as uh, an experience when they're walking in the house. Power of staging has a, a very magical effect on people. You want them to feel comfortable without even realizing that they're relaxing. Now we've seen how beautifully you've staged this house. Um, and for reference, it's just under 3,000 square feet, single story, and will be priced at 1.25 million. It's fantastic. Um, but we also work on some projects together at much higher price points and much larger homes. Can you give me and the viewers any insight into the differences when you go to stage those types of properties? When it comes to working on a larger home, say in excess of 5,000 square feet, there tends to be a, a more complicated scenario with the rooms having multi-use. I tend to need a, a, a lot of variation in the types of furniture that I keep, uh, along with accessories in different proportions. I find that the key is really the proportions. Hans, thank you so much again for meeting with us today and going through with our viewers on you know, some of those, those important aspects of the staging process. You know, I thought it was particularly interesting the fact that homes that are staged sell quicker and normally for more money as well. So thank you, it's been a pleasure. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for having me, it's been a pleasure. Before we leave, we wanted to give all of our viewers a glimpse at the House of Vegas' warehouse. It is absolutely incredible. And he has over 50 listings currently staged with this much furniture left. Thanks for joining us on this episode of the American Dream Listing Las Vegas. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Hartman, host of the American Dream TV. Today, we have ventured outside of the iconic Las Vegas Strip to explore the world of indoor football. I'm here at the Dollar Loan Center in Henderson, Nevada, home of the Vegas Nighthawks. We are headed inside to take a look around and talk about the world of indoor football. The arena will be hosting the championship game this weekend, so we thought we'd stop by and take a look inside and see what it's all about. Let's go. To gain a little insight into the exciting world of indoor football, I'm joined here today with one of the coaches, Coach Adrian Davis. How are you doing today, Coach? Doing great, how are you doing? I'm great. How about 
you give us a little information and background about yourself? Okay, um, I'm originally from Houston, Texas. Uh, got my uh, degree from University of Arkansas, played football there as well. Um, then I went on to play professional football for five to six years, and I've been coaching college and arena football for the last over a decade. So um, that's insight about me. Now I'm in Vegas doing arena football here, getting this started. It's been our second year. Um, Fortunately, we didn't make the playoffs, but we're looking forward to next year. Other than the obvious differences, okay. what are the main differences between indoor and outdoor? Well, of course, you can see it's smaller. Um, smaller field, that means faster. That means a lot more action quicker. Um, instead of 11 guys on the field, you have eight. That's probably the biggest difference. And uh, for guys who really watch football, you know, you don't have you know, stationary guys, you got a lot of high motion, a lot of jet guys running back and forth. So that's part of the biggest obvious difference you see. And I understand the fans are quite loud. So that probably gives you some unique challenges as you are on the field. Well, I think when you got an arena like this that's more small and more equipped, I think you deal with more fan interaction. I think that's the biggest thing about this game. You can go talk to a fan, you can go give a fan a ball. You can have conversations on the field with the fan. I think. Fans enjoy that. They actually get a chance to see guys, touch guys, and actually get a chance to know guys. I think that's probably the biggest difference from the NFL to this level. Oh, well, that sounds exciting. Now, I know they're getting ready to host the championship mm -hmm. game, but I understand there's some uh, excitement going on at the Heritage Park today. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, So everybody who has a contract in the IFL that played with a team this year, they got an opportunity to go work out for the XFL. Um, they having a workout here today. Um, so that's good for those guys to get the opportunity to showcase their talent in front of other coaches and scouts. So um, that's, like I said, that's part of the stepping stone we build here to get that opportunity after the indoor game. Okay, great. Do you think we could take a ride over there and take a look at Definitely. what's happening? Definitely. It'll be a good showing. All right. Let's take a look. Changed out my high heels for some sneakers. Can we made it out here to Heritage Park? We're meeting up again with the coach, and we're out here for the IFL workout. Coach, why don't you tell us what's happening out here today? Um, so today we got a bunch of guys around out the indoor football league having a chance to come work out for some XFL teams, and we also got some other guys that wasn't playing last year getting a chance to come out here and showcase their talent. Um, it's good for us. It's good for the exposure for both leagues to to have this every year and to have guys to, to have the opportunity to be able to show what they can do. When does the season start up again for next year? Um, fall camp, I mean, camp usually starts around February, March. Um, end, of the, end of March is usually the first game, so uh, it, it just depends. The schedule haven't came out yet, but usually around March is the beginning of the year. All right. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you next year out on the field and playing some games. Definitely. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Laura Hartman, your host, American Dream TV. Thanks for joining us. And until next time, keep dreaming and keep exploring. When talking about Las Vegas, Fremont Street is always top of mind. With the glitz, the glamour, the lights, outdoor concerts, patio pubs, and restaurants. Well, tonight, we're gonna meet the Duke of Fremont Street, a real life, in the flesh, comic book character, treasure hunter, and expert in precious metals. Hi, I'm Candy Marshall, your TV host, and Las Vegas real estate and lifestyle expert. So join me and let's meet the Duke of Fremont Street. And there he is. Hi, Duke. How are you, Miss Candy? I am doing fabulous. And you, sir? Outstanding. Thanks for asking. Thank you for spending this time with us tonight. It's my pleasure. So, Duke, what was it about Fremont Street that attracted you to it and, and drew you to this down here? Well, I grew up on the main streets of uh, in North St. Louis. And, you know, I loved all the tall buildings and the, and the dark part of it. I mean, it, there was just something about it I found intriguing. So when I first got to Vegas, all of Fremont Street, all the way down, generally, you wouldn't find anybody that would come down here because it had somewhat of a bad reputation. 
that never really bothered me because I thought, you know, this is Vegas. Today, Fremont Street has evolved into something that wasn't necessarily what I liked when I first got here. This is my favorite part of Fremont Street, East Fremont Street. It's more old school. You don't have all the music of every kind of music you can imagine. And most of it I don't relate to. Now keep in mind, I'm an old school guy. Tell us about the comic book, because it's a trilogy, correct? Yes, we have a trilogy. It's all set. It opens up actually on Fremont Street, and it's a storyline that's inspired by real people and actual events. People say, oh, well, when was this made? And it's present day Las Vegas. It opens up at one of the poker rooms here downtown, and from there, it evolves into a lot of intrigue, mystery, and it's action packed. It's like the old dime novels of yesteryear. And we also created a book that's more of a graphic novel. In addition to the comic books, I understand you also deal in precious metals. Can you tell us a little bit about that and also the Duke coin? Yes, ma'am. I've been a purveyor of precious metals and bullion for over 50 years. People know that if they're looking for a certain item, this happens to be the coin you were referring to. This is it, huh? It's a Duke ducat. It's uh, pure silver and it's one ounce, Troy. I have my uh, a caricature of me on the coin. The obverse is a caricature, and the reverse is uh, one of my That is a gorgeous coin, Duke. Yes, so, ma'am. Is this to kind of tie into some of your treasure hunting? So anything that brings in history and culture, our heritage, I'm interested in. Vintage currency, I love that. Don't you have a song that you want to debut for us? <laughs> Those days are long gone. Those days are long gone. I was gone. a professional uh, entertainer for over a decade, and I loved it. I really did. I was a drummer. And like I said, I played in the Playboy Club and some of the clubs in the Midwest and had a blast. I really enjoyed it. Those were the glory days. You know, when, it wasn't that far in the past, actually. Well, people think that I live in the past, and in a way, I guess I do, because they think it's a a dress up party and they don't realize that it's it's your actual attire precisely it's a come as you are party i hope you enjoyed this segment of american dream tv i'm candy marshall your tv host looking forward to seeing you on the next one Welcome to the American Dream. I'm Cynthia Glickman, lifestyle and real estate expert. And today we're out here at Lake Las Vegas in Henderson, highlighting the village where there's multiple restaurants, cafes, even a cigar bar, and obviously, as you can see, some water sports. So let's start at my favorite place, and that's of course, Italian Cafe. Let's go get a coffee. So we're here today with Dion Bennett. Thanks for joining us, Dion. Thanks for having me. You're like our local resident expert of Lake Las Vegas. I wouldn't consider myself an expert. I just love to relax, get away from the city sometimes, hang out at the bars, restaurants right on the lake. So how often do you come down here? I would say once or twice a week. A week? Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, look at it. We it's like a hidden gem. Place. I it love it. It is a hidden gem. The cool thing about it is it's great for tourists to come visit, and it's also a great getaway spot, right? For, Definitely. For locals. It feels like you're really far away from the city, but at the same time, easy access to all the things that Vegas has to offer. So what's your favorite thing to do when you come down here? You know, I love just relaxing. You take walks right on the lake, get a nice cigar, sit down at a bar, watch the sunset. Yeah, have you been out on the water yet on the paddle boards? Not yet, but it looks so refreshing. Yeah. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> it's a hot day. I feel like maybe we should do that today. Yeah, that might be fun. I don't know if they'll let us go swimming though. Well, let's go look at some properties then. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of real estate out here. Yeah, so the cool thing is we're actually gonna go take a look at a beautiful 7,000 square foot custom home. Oh, wow. And so let's go head over there now. Let's go.
Here we are at the North Shore out at Lake Las Vegas at a gorgeous 7,000 square foot home. And we're gonna have an opportunity to actually meet the developers and take a look at this home while it's in progress. So come on, let's go take a tour. So we're now joined with Jeff Gibson. Thank you so much oh, for being you. here today. And thank you for hosting us in this beautiful home. It's amazing. What led to this? So what led to this is just somebody's dream. So this is somebody's dream that walked on this lot like two years ago and said, I want to live here. And that led to architects and designers and us as a general contractor to be able to make it all happen, have their dream happen. That's awesome. So I definitely want to check out the rest of the house. What I love about custom homes is whatever you can dream of, you, we will build it. So there's a lot of technology in this home. So as soon as they want to wake up, the blinds automatically go up. The lighting starts appearing. There's lighting that lights their way to the coffee stand. So imaginations are endless. And as uh, a contractor, we get to implement those imaginations. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, let's go check out the rest of this dream. So what an awesome opportunity to see this dream come to life and take a tour of this gorgeous home. And now we're joined with Addie Gibson and the partner to Jeff Gibson at, at JAG Development. And Addy, tell us, like, how do you help clients to make this kind of dream come alive? Yeah, sure. I mean, it takes a team, of course. So obviously they start with a dream of what they want, and then they meet with architects, designers, things like that. We coordinate them there. And we really help them bring that to life. We implement all the parts um, to come together. And it's very exciting. Awesome. Well, this was definitely one of the most exciting episodes. And thank you both for your time thank today. You. And thank you, Jag Development. Thanks for joining us today at the American Dream TV. And we look forward to seeing you in our next episode. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. Produced from America's finest city, but shot in the heart of your neighborhoods. Don't forget positive media when the world really needs it. Follow us on social media at the American Dream TV. See you next time. In the meantime, cheers to your American Dream. It's better than this. It doesn't get better than this. I went ghost today. I got least to say. I be focused on these dreams like I didn't sleep today. We unite people, we highlight the great stories of cities all across the country that make this the greatest country on the planet. We are blazing a trail, going against the grain of that negative media, having a lot of fun doing this. There's a million restaurants in Nashville, but this one's really cool. Never been in a horse stable in California before. I've been in a lot of real estate, but nothing like this. Like I look at this. I mean, we've got water, we've got the water culture, we've got the San Diego lifestyle laid back. American dream is subjective. You get to define it.